Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. Uh, just an update here on uh, Workhorse. Um, I didn't want to, but uh, here I am doing a video about uh, Workhorse. I was actually going to do one over the weekend, and I was just um, kind of upset with it. So um, I'm still holding out. I've um, heard things that... Um, in regards to uh, Oshkosh that they went with, um, if you follow Workhorse at all, I'm sure you know what's going on with it. Um, they missed the uh, big USPS uh, contract and um, it went to uh, Oshkosh. So, um, but I've since then I've heard um, it could get changed uh, since uh, Oshkosh is not all electric and with the Biden administration wanting to uh, change everything to all electric um so i'm hanging on to my shares here as you can see i'm a little bit in the red they have some more in retirement i think my cost basis is eight dollars almost nine dollars on that one i'm still holding those so i mean it's in the electric uh vehicles it's got to go back up um i wish like i said on past videos i wish i would have dumped it when it was in the uh, high 40s but um, unfortunately I didn't and then it's just been a nice uh, looks like just a big water slide from there so on the way down um, but anyway I'm continuing to hold this one I've had mine for quite a while uh, if you don't know what this one is it's uh, gauges in the designing and build performance battery electric vehicles and aircraft and that's another catalyst why I'm uh, keeping hold of this one. So, I mean, I'm not too in debt on it, so I may as well continue to hold it. But the uh, aircraft part of it is also uh, pretty interesting to me. So this one's been around since 2007, a $1.82 billion uh, dollar market cap. And I'm sure that got cut in half here in the uh, last couple weeks. Um, but couple articles that uh, came out here why it's moving looking into workhorse group stock uh, training lower today um, this particular article didn't really give any reason why it was trading lower other than um, other stocks trading lower but is currently down 3.41 percent to a price of 16.73 Tuesday the stock has been traded at a volume of 5.5 to 1 million about 19.62 of its recent 30-day volume average of uh, 29.56 million so I think uh, when it did hit the high 40s uh, people were taking profits on this one and I'm sure it um, sold off when the uh, contract got termed and went with the other manufacturer but um, uh, there is some people still holding um, myself as uh, one of those so uh, the stock's 50-day moving average was 27.24, and at the time of this article was published, over the past 52 weeks, the price has risen uh, to a high of 42.96 and fallen to a low of a dollar 31. So, uh, some more information on this one: uh, stock underperforms Tuesday when compared to competitors. Um, I. I've been uh, doing my channel. I basically just got started about two months ago. Um, somebody commented, uh, one of my uh, followers that uh, comments a lot, which is good. Um, but the comment was, uh, why do you only cover stocks that uh, just go up? <laughs> well, here's my uh, video of a stock going down. So it's a stock that I still hold and still really like it. Um, but... I guess to really answer that question, uh, why I don't do more videos on stocks that go down, um, is because nobody wants to watch those videos, I guess. Uh, that's another reason. Um, but uh, here I am making the workhorse one, so I still have faith in this one. It's going to come up. So, um, But shares of workhorse uh, slid 6.98% to $16.13. 16 13 cents Tuesday on what proved to be an all around poor trading session for the stock market with the Nasdaq composite index falling 1.69% and I'm not going to read all that to you feel free to uh, pause the video and read the rest there for yourself um, but a lot of them were down um, 
even uh, Ferrari. So I don't own of any uh, Ferrari. Uh, I don't really hear anybody even talking about uh, Ferrari. Uh, Tesla is the uh, main one. Um, I have uh, some shares of Tesla, but um, I don't hear anybody talking about uh, Ferrari. And if you have any uh, Ferrari uh, R A C E, put that in the comments. That'd be interesting to know. Uh, workhorse electric delivery van builds lag as backlog swells. And this is just dated again today. Uh, workhorse has just built uh, seven trucks in the fourth quarter as its underdeveloped production system and supply chain issues continue to hold down the electric maker's progress even as orders have grown sevenfold compared with a year ago. So just as you have it there, uh, there's still got to be some growth with this one. Um, I just would um, have my doubts if there's not. Uh, again, I know we have tax, legal, or trading advice. I'm just stating an opinion here. I mean, it's a company that's been around. Their orders are going up, even though they uh, missed the USPS. So um, I'm going to continue to hold this one. I don't know for how long. I'll see how the um, stock goes, and if I get back up to uh, my cost basis maybe I'll hold it um, maybe not so maybe we'll part ways but um, that'll be another video for another day so workhorse will continue to take it slow striving to build three of its uh, composite ba battery body battery that's a tongue twister electric trucks a day in March with a plan to reach 10 trucks a day by the end of June the full year goal of producing 1800 trucks is a stretch and I believe they've had those problems in the uh, past that I've covered that on uh, past videos as well so uh, they need to kick in gear if they want to uh, get things rolling so the negligible volume also means workhorse is paying for more parts and for delivery to the plant we have uh, completed the setup of the initial assembly operation and are using roughly 33% of the plant capacity he said so the more that I read about this company um, the more I mean I hate to be negative about it but the more kind of discouraged I'm kind of getting with this one between the uh, assembly and uh, just what I read to you about their uh, production and um, they just need to um, I don't know maybe they need some new management but um, we have new hires in place to support the uh, growing volume of daily vehicle production and we have upgraded the assembly equipment on the line to make the manufacturing process even more efficient uh, so I know they're working on it so um, they just need to work a little bit harder on it Investors bid up Workhorse shares 7.24% to 1734 Monday. The company lost more than half of its value after Oshkosh Truck uh, OSK won a 10-year contract to build the next generation mail trucks for the United States uh, Postal Service. And I don't have any of uh, Oshkosh. Um, I don't even think I heard about it until I heard they uh, lost to them. But uh, if you have any of this one, uh, go ahead and leave that in the comments as well. That would be interesting to know. And feel free to pause the uh, video and read the rest there for yourself. I got a couple more information. And um, this just kind of talks about it um, on Friday. And I'll just let you uh, pause the video and read the rest there for yourself. But that is pretty much it on uh, Workhorse. Um, there's still a couple people talking about it and uh, talking about it on uh, stock twits um, Still some people bullish on it um, bearish I'm kind of neutral on it now since they lost the um, Contract but um, I'm still gonna hold my shares. So if it slowly gets back up to 20 and just kind of sets there at 20 I might part ways, but uh, we'll decide that at a later time. So, again, I have 10 shares at 19.15, and I bought these July 6th. <laughs> I've been sitting on them, so 
But that is it for Workhorse. Uh, go ahead and smash that like button, and that would really help at the uh, channel as well as subscribing. And I'm trying to uh, get up to a thousand subscribers as soon as I can. And um, thank you for the uh, support on the channel. Comments are always welcome. And happy trading, happy investing. Stay green. Cheers.